As COVID-19 cases continue to rise in North Dakota, are you wearing that face mask? Now, it's a subject that gets a pretty people pretty heated up. And the Fargo City Commission is hoping to lower the temperature on that argument and bring numbers down as well. The Valley Today's Brian Sherratt joins us live this morning with the latest proposal. Good morning, Brian. And good morning, Jordan and Lisa. The idea for this local campaign comes from their already ongoing campaign, which is Mask Up North Dakota. Now, if you're traveling down I-94 like I usually am on a daily basis, you can actually see those signs posted all across the highway. You know, as our neighboring state, Minnesota, already has a mask mandate in place, us being right next door, that could be a possibility as well. Now, just like we just mentioned, this new proposed mask campaign could be the task force attempt to get people to want to wear face masks on their own. This is also used to get feedback before there's any kind of reconsideration of a mandate in Fargo. Fargo Mayor Tim Mahoney says the Red River Task Force will be working with local athletic teams, health systems, and you to better understand why they say masking up is so important. As we have heard from our public health professionals and healthcare systems, we need everybody to take this virus seriously. If not for your own health, please consider the health of your friends, family, neighbors, and our community's most vulnerable. Now, Clay County Public Health reports say there's been a spike in cases this month in 18 to 22 year olds. This comes as this age group is not following the CDC guidelines like before. Ascentra and Sanford hospitals say they've seen the highest level of COVID-19 patients since May. On another matter, there's been some problems with contact tracers and the state's epidemiologist stressed the importance of being nice to them. He also says that if they ask you questions about potential exposure to COVID-19, be truthful and be cooperative. It's like going to a doctor's office, you want to tell the truth to them as well so they can help you in your time of need. Brian Sherrod reporting live this morning. Thank you.